Hi YouTube, it's the Reggie on y'all phone screens, TV streams, whatever. If you read the title, you already know this is a skincare video. Um, right now I'm just washing my hands before I start to clean my face because I don't want to carry no germs. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but this is the soap I use, Panoxu. It's benzoyl peroxide. My dermatologist told me to use it. It works really well, but you have to watch the way you use it. You can use it on your face, your back, your chest, anything. Um, you don't want to use too much, and you don't want to put it like right underneath your eye because it can burn your skin. Some people say that it makes their skin extremely dry when they use it, but it's supposed to because it has peroxide in it. Um, it is basically a peroxide-based type of face wash so I'm just gonna put it on my face watching out for my under eyes because that's where the softest skin at I just put it everywhere on my face though basically except under my eyes because it irritates them and when I first used it I put it under my eyes it like I had two black eyes so you have to be cautious with this and you don't want to use too much so I'm just gonna put that everywhere around my face and y'all probably like, why is this girl doing a voiceover? But my bathroom light is loud and I didn't want it to be in the background like on my previous videos. So I'm just gonna do that and now I'm gonna wash it off. Okay, so yeah, y'all, my face is when I wash my face be so funny. But anyways, I'm gonna pat it dry with a white rag instead of any other color because it said that they have chemicals in it. So that's what I'm doing here. This is Witch Hazel. A lot of people use it for their face, but I have just started using it for my face because I have watched Chai the Greatest skincare video and she used Witch Hazel. A lot of other people use Witch Hazel too and it has like a very, very nice outcome. I don't know what to do for the skin, but I'll probably have to look it up. But I know that my face feels so fresh after I put Witch Hazel on it. So I just pour it in my hand and pat it on my face and I wait for it to dry, basically. It's better than putting it on a rag, if you ask me. But everybody use what works for them. It hasn't broke me out. My skin has been getting better. I've been doing this for a week now. And yeah. Okay, so guys, this is written A. I got this from my dermatologist. Um, I put this on basically my problem areas, dark spots, anything. Because I basically just have hyperpigmentation problems. I don't really get pimples and bumps like that. I just have a lot of dark spots. So I'm just going to rub this in my problem areas. And when you're using this, you have to be very careful. Don't put it anywhere where your face is sensitive. Um... I think it works with acne scars and things like that. I don't know, but I use it. And I have been seeing some difference in my skin. So this is sunscreen. Whenever you're using Panoxu or Written A, you must use sunscreen even in the winter. Like just use your sunscreen, sis, because you're going to need that sunscreen. I like sunscreen. It makes my um, face glow and it makes it feel so much softer and your face will really get burnt if you do not use sunscreen while using these products so you have to and it dries out some people's skin like i mentioned before but that's just what it's going to do you guys might hear my little sister in the background um <laughs> but yeah that's what it's going to do so you have to use your sunscreen or cocoa butter or whatever moisturizer but make sure you still use sunscreen because you need it and it's summer and i live in florida baby i am not getting my skin burnt so that's basically it for this video um if you guys have any questions comment down below like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications thank you for watching bye